Thank you. The initial question as to what changes we'd make. Um, after having studied this thing for 10 odd years, <laughs> 10 years I'd like to get back, to be entirely honest, um, there are definitely things in there that are broken. Uh, like, for example, uh, I, I don't think it's right that since 2009, any stag party that goes off paintballing in Wicklow for a weekend uh, are all committing a breach of the Firearms Act. That technically requires them to be put in jail for seven years and fined 20 grand, um, along with everyone who works for the companies that run these services. Uh, I don't think anyone would, would, would think that that was a great way to have your law. There's a bunch of other things. There's the fact that um, hunters who are going out uh, to shoot rabbits from the pot, um, if they take a, a shot before they start hunting the rabbit to make sure that their sights are aligned, that's technically target shooting outside of an unauthorized range. That's an illegal act. Um, and in fact, the Minister for Justice at the time uh, said himself afterwards that that was an unintentional uh, whoopsie in the law. Um, there's an awful lot of bits in the law that we can point to and say are whoopsies, and that, that's, that's just a really awful thing. So if we're going to talk about changes, the very first thing we need to do is take the law, because there's the, the Farms Act 1925, then there are eight more acts that amend parts of it. Yeah. Nothing's ever been repealed, so we've got this huge pound and settle little layer of the thing. Yeah. There's then another 12 acts that uh, have parts in them that define uh, the behaviour that target shooters and, hunter, and hunters are supposed to follow. So that's the Wildlife Act, there's, there's the Airport Act, there's, um, uh, the, there's the Explosive Act, which covers the reloading that, that Joe shooters do. There's, uh, there's acts actually from before the founding of the state. Both the Explosive Acts are from before then. And the, the, there's the Summary Ju uh, Jurisdiction Act from 1851 that still applies, uh, which relates to how far away from a road you have to be before you can start hunting bunnies. Um, all of these things, there's, there's no one single place that a person who's just starting off in the sport can go and look and see this is the other rules I must adhere to. So before we start making any changes to these things, which frankly there's just a list, but we need to have a solid base to work from. So really what has to be done is that all those nine or ten acts that amended the Farms Act have to be restated under the Statute of Law Restatement Act from 2002. That's been called for by the Law Reform Commission in 2004, and it was called for a few years ago in the High Court by Justice Charlton. It's never been done. Um, the Law Reform Commission has prepared informal uh, restatements of these, these acts. Um, the only textbook that has ever been written uh, on firearms law in Ireland, which was only just published last year, it has a restatement in one of the appendices. But that's not the same thing as a restatement of the act under the law, because at that point we would take all the stuff that's gone before and repeal it and replace it with the Firearms Act as amended, so that we now have a single document we can all go to. If we do that, then we can start talking about the fairly silly things that need to be fixed that are in it, um, so that we don't have things like, like, for example, I'm doing my Christmas shopping this year. I walk into, uh, I won't name the shop. Um, <laughs> I walk into a popular shop in a popular shopping centre, and the first thing I see as I walk in the, the door are a, uh, a there's a, a, a shelf full of toy crossbows that are being sold. Now they're obviously toys. They're obviously meant uh, for like firing suction darts at, at, at walls and this kind of thing. Under the current Firearms Act, that's a restricted firearm and needs to be uh, licensed. And if you don't have a license for it, that's seven years in jail and 20,000 euros in fines. And that's beyond silly. Do you know? Uh, no, no. Um, <laughs> don't give me ideas. So you propose that, that Santa Claus be jailed. OK. <laughs> um, yeah, I, the consolidation of acts is, 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 um, is something that happens now and again, but it's usually very complex and takes quite a while and so forth. But we'll certainly look into the Our Bomb Commission report and others. And if there are other uh, such documents out there, you might, if, if you, I'd invite you to make it available to the clerk, to the committee. Yes, I mean, obviously, there's a lot of work to be done in this whole area. If I might suggest, I mean, I, 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 I mentioned this in the submission, we could take the, uh, the, the uh, restatements that have been done by the Law Reform Commission and by the uh, Mark Mac uh, McDonald, who's the, the barrister who wrote the only uh, law book on this. Um, they could be used as working documents by the firearms consultation panel, have all the stakeholders come together with a, a baseline document, point out what, what's broken in it, fix those, and then pass that as a, as a new firearms act that repeals everything that's gone before, so we have the one thing. Okay, I can feel a recommendation coming on here. Um, are you done? All done? Uh, Deputy, can you report the yeah. question?